this is Sneaker Gears. My name is Levi. Welcome to another episode of Performance Gears, where today we're talking about the most comfortable basketball shoes of 2018. So I do have my top five, and I hate not giving a specific order. Uh, you know what? I got it. All right, so we're going to start with number one or work our way down, just because number one is a clear-cut, best cushion I've ever used with number two being very close with three and four being quite a bit behind and five kind of being ambiguous. So uh, let's start with number one, the LeBron 15. This sucker is the best cushion basketball shoe I've ever used. I literally have over 300 pairs, been playing basketball for a long time. This is by and far the best cushion you can find period it uses zoom max in the best iteration possible this is literally the best nike has ever done it is not only highly cushioned but contrary to most shoes that have a lot of cushion it's still flexible it still moves with you the support on this specific model and this was a limited edition kind of kith version does have more support than the regular lebron 15 so this is not necessarily a full review on the 15 but the LeBron 15 in the last couple of years, especially from the 14, are not as supported. I believe the LeBron 13 Elite actually has the most support of almost any basketball shoe short of now the new Russell Westbrook. So if you're looking for something that just locks you down, has crazy containment, crazy support, uh, those two shoes are fantastic. The 14, I think, was a huge letdown in support and containment. And the 15 is just a nice, happy middle ground where it's still flexible, it moves with you, gives you just enough support, but the cushion is unbelievable. It's like running on a trampoline that's moving with you, that still allows you to be quick, doesn't make you feel slow. Now, for players who are not looking for the most cushion, this can feel slightly heavy. Now, in regards to the LeBron lineup, this is one of the lightest LeBrons he's done. So I would say it's not that heavy. But again, if you're comparing this to guard shoes or much quicker shoes, the opposite end of the spectrum would be like the Curry line, where there's zero cushioning and it's 100% lightweight with minimalist. I hate that shoe, and you can see why. is because I love this shoe. If this is too much cushion for you, I'm telling you now, it's the number one cushion shoe for a reason. So that's number one. Number two is actually a surprise. Over James Harden's career, he's actually used pretty minimalist setup, low to the ground. Uh, he was using the crazy lights at first, which had no cushion in the forefoot. In this first generation of James Harden's, he actually had kind of the thinnest boost they've used. So the Harden 2 was kind of a surprise. Uh, I don't know if he's getting a little bit older or if he used it and he's like, hey, I actually can still be as quick in this, but this uses super chunky boost all the way around, very uh, much uncontained for the most part outside of just that four foot lateral and then some heel containment, but the boost on this is serious. Up until this, my number three was top two cushioning, uh, but this has taken number two spot. This is going to feel... Uh, quite a bit different than the LeBron 15. I'll say the 15 is going to feel more bouncy, but the boost on this feels incredible. It's still very stable, very balanced. Uh, now, this is a low cut. This does have a lot of containment in the front just with that dual layer. The lacing system, once I was able to adjust it, does fit a bit better, but it it kind of is tough to get on. So if you have a high instep, not really great. Uh, if you have wide feet, you definitely have to go up a size. I was able to go with my true size 12 on the, on the Harden 1. Harden 2, I did have to go up to a 13. Haven't really found a 12 and a half. Uh, that being said, I like the shoe. I wish it fit me better. Uh, and fit is, is definitely personal. But if you're talking about cushion, if you fit in the shoe, the cushion is phenomenal. Traction, I think the LeBron 15 is going to be a little bit better, uh, but I've had pretty good success with this. I can't complain. They're both good with the LeBron 15 being close to very good. This is going to be kind of a 1B, but definitely with the LeBron 15 being the clear cut best cushion basketball shoe you can get. All right, so number three held the mantle last year as the best cushion basketball shoe. When LeBron 15 came out, it was the number two best cushion basketball shoe. And on top of that, this was probably my best performer of 2017. And that is the Crazy Explosive. Now, what I love about this shoe is the fact that you can get it in a high, you can get it in a low, both in prime knit, and you can get it in a mid with that like forged mesh. Uh, it's a great shoe all around. 
the boost again up until the Harden 2 was the most boost you can get. You can see how much more it's contained all around the shoe. Can't say so it's not as comfortable as the volume two but the fact that this ranked number one for a long time tells you this is a fantastic shoe traction wise if that looks familiar i think i just had a video on the kobe nines the traction is unbelievable on this support is fantastic this is just an all-around shoe no matter who you are you're going to be able to enjoy if cushion is not number one on your priority list the crazy explosive is something you can't go wrong with get the height you want get the size you need and this is an awesome shoe number four and i wish it was something that is uh, a shoe that you guys can try on is going to be the wade six this is not a standard shoe that you can just uh, go to foot locker or go to a foot action and, and try it on this is something that you do have to order have to trust the reviews to make sure you get the right size, but I can tell you this is an awesome shoe. Uh, the, the knit on this is beautiful. Fitment, I was able to go with my true size 12, wide foot friendly. Uh, if you have a wide mid foot because of where this is at, maybe you have to go up a size, but honestly, my foot is wider more towards the forefoot, so I had no issues. It's carbon fiber right on the strap, carbon fiber on the bottom. Uh, it just feels like a premium shoe. Now you're spending $160 on this with tax, I, I think, or with shipping, I was like 172. So it is not a cheap shoe. So this is one of those, you can't try it on. You're spending a lot of money. What are you getting? You're getting, I would say easily top five. And for me, this is top four cushioning you can get. Compared to the other two, this is not gonna be as bouncy but this is gonna give you a lot of impact protection and this is gonna still gonna give you a really nice bounce compared to pretty much anything else out there. Uh, it's a shame that, you know, there's nothing from Under Armour, you know, US company, there's nothing from Adidas, which is a big player, that's gonna actually get close to this. Uh, Adidas Bounce is really nice in the, in the uh, Lillard line, but this is just better. Now Lillard is also about, what, 60, $80 cheaper. So I would say, for the money, you are getting a better shoe. You're spending more money, but you're getting a lot more. But that's going to be its closest competitor with this clearly being better in pretty much every regard. So Wave Wade 6, top four. All right, number five. Don't hate me, guys. It is a toss-up between a lot of shoes. There are some shoes with really good cushion out there. I know I just mentioned the, the Dame 2 or the Dame 4, forgive me. Uh, I know for, for me personally, I might say the, the PG2 is probably the, the fifth best cushion market. I love that unlock four foot zoom. Uh, but then you have shoes like full length zoom and the, the Russell Westbrook, which I'll have that review out, but that doesn't quite fit me. So I can't enjoy it as much. Uh, so I, there's a lot of shoes out there that are really competing where it's not a clear cut. Uh, for me, I would say the PG2, but I, I'm kind of cheating out on that. I don't have that, the, the KT2. Uh, for Clay Thompson, and I heard that has some really good heel cushion, but I haven't tried it. I don't have the Dwight Howard, the DH3. I have the DH2 in the cushion on, that was surprising. So there's some shoes I haven't tried that may be number five. Right now, if you're gonna tell me, hey, what's the fifth best cushioning? I'm gonna say it's probably the PG2. Uh, for me, a close second is going to be the Kyrie 4, even though it's not really a high cushion shoe, but it has cushion line, has heel zoom. It's really nice. Uh, you have your Russell Westbrook, you have your Dame series. Your D. Rose line is still out, which I don't even know if he's still in the league. Actually, no, he just signed with the Timberwolves. Um, so there's a lot of close shoes there. Uh, my personal preference would be, and I'll say, the Nike PG2, just because you're getting unlocked, bouncy zoom in the forefoot for 100 bucks, 110 But that shoe... Uh, on the budget for what you're getting for the value i would say is going to be probably top five if you're looking for okay i need a really high cushion shoe but i want something that's going to not going to break my bank um and if that said i would almost say the crazy explosive on a sale or on a deal would probably be a better choice but uh if you're looking for cushion Guys, that's my top five. Uh, hopefully this helped a few guys out. Uh, if you're looking for high cushion, uh, you know, if you had back injuries, if you have plantar fasciitis, if you had any knee injuries, uh, the high cushion is going to allow you to get back on the court. Just because you loved the shoe before, if you only played in Kobe's, if you love playing in Jordan's, try a different shoe with a higher cushion that might be able to get you back out there and just enjoy playing a game that a lot of us love. Uh, guys, if you have any questions below, shoot them in the comments below. If you disagree, if you played in those, I'd love to hear what you guys think uh, if you're not following me on instagram 
Give me a follow, Twitter, Facebook. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. As always, I really appreciate you guys. This is Levi with Sneaker Gears, and I'll see you soon.